Hi everyone, it's Barry here from Matusa Crafts. Thank you for joining me today and thank you for joining me for this week's Funfold Friday video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a, what did I call it, a rotating pop-up card. Um, it seems to be doing the rounds at the moment and I've, um, yeah, I wanted to create this for you and show you how you can make it as well. So, setup's going to be slightly different today. I'm going to actually show you, because this video is going to be, or the project is going to be in two parts. So we are going to do the first video where I'm going to show you the measurements and the mechanism. And then we're going to then go on to a second video and that's where I'm going to show you how you can decorate the card the way that I've done it. Or you can then choose to decorate it however you wish. So the link to the second video will be down below in the description. So do check that one out down there um, once this has done. And then you can go and see how I decorated it. But... I think what we do is we will go over to camera down and show you today's project. So do remember you can purchase your Stampin' Up! goodies from us. So head over to matusucrafts.com forward slash shop and you can order your Stampin' Up! craft supplies from us there. Um, so check check those out if there is anything you are interested in. Um, but yes, this is the card which I'm going to be making for you. So as I said, it's a rotating pop-up card. So it's already decorated. I will show you how it's decorated in the second video. But this is what it is going to look like once you're finished. Okay, so... I'm going to show you the mechanism first and then how to decorate it. Okay. So I will be working in centimeters on this one, but I have got the inches written down for you and I will measure those. I will talk about those as I'm going through. But, and again, I will pop the measurements down below in the description if um, for you for easy reference. So what you're going to need first off is you will need a bit of basic white fix. So we are going to have this one here at 14 centimeters by 28 centimeters and you want to score this in half at 14 centimeters or this is going to be five and a half inches by 11 inches and scored in half at five and a half inches so that's the card base and that's thick you will need another piece this is on regular card basic white cardstock this is going to be measuring nine centimeters by 10 centimeters or that there is three and three eighths of an inch by four inches that one and you will need some designer series paper here. So I've got three pieces. This is for the decoration. I'm going to need to do a little bit of decoration before I move on because I'm going to, it needs to be stuck down before the mechanism goes. So I've got three pieces here. These are measuring 13 and a half by 13 and a half centimeters or five and one quarter by five and one quarter inches. Okay, so three pieces of those. Two of the same for the inside, but that's your choice on that one. And then I'm going to be using the deckled circles is what I'm going to be using. So these lovely things right here for the dies. And you're going to need to cut yourself out some circles. So you're going to need to cut yourself out. You'll, you'll need four dies really is what I've used. One which is a 10 centimeter, an 8 centimeter, 7 centimeter, or 6 centimeter. And then you will then cut the 10 centimeter and a 6 centimeter to create the aperture. And you'll need those ones. And then you will need the 8 centimeter one for this one. And then we'll then use the 7 centimeter for a bit of designer series paper for decoration. But basically you need, for this project, you need to have two circles. But you will end up with three in total. Okay. So let's move on to, let's first of all, let's fold and burnish my card base. So I've got this here. I'm doing that. Get a nice crease on that one. And we will take this piece right here. And you will need your trimmer or um, a scoreboard. Be careful you do not trim um, as I did earlier on. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to then score this on the short edge. So the 9 centimeter part at the top here. And you want to score this at three centimeters and six centimeters so three and six if you are doing that in inches you need to score that at one and one eighth of an inch on both sides so it's either three centimeters and three centimeters or you can go three and six or one and one eighth and one and one eighth okay turn it around onto the long edge and then you want to then score this at one and a half centimeters, three centimeters, 
and then four and a half centimeters and then one and a half centimeters on the opposite side okay in inches that will be five eighths of an inch one and a quarter one and seven eighths of an inch and then five eighths of an inch on this side right here okay and that's what you've got so you've got your piece working like this um, what you want to do is the best thing to do is to grab yourself a pencil and a ruler and you're going to draw yourself some lines so on these ones where you've got the the nine sections at the top here what you want to do is you want to pop some pencil lines down I this will make sense when you see it in a second Okay, and that's what you want to do. So you basically want to cut, I'll show you the cutting in a moment, but you want to cut away these, all of these little crosses right here, cut in here to remove. So you just basically want to cut all of this and then it will be ready for folding. So I'm just going to, first off, cut Okay, so that there is then what you have then just been left with. What we want to do now is we now want to then score this cross in the middle here. We want to then score from that corner to that corner and that corner to that corner. So the best thing for you to do is, I found, is fold this one over here. Bring your trimmer in. Just line that pencil line up in your track. Grab your scorer and go through and then do the opposite one on the opposite side fold that one over there okay so you've now got your scoring which is done on the inside on that part right there okay now you can go ahead and you can then fold and burnish a lot of this stuff you can this may be the point where you may want to just either tweak some of your cutting okay to make it to help help make things fit so that will make sense as you go around you'll know if it's if it's too tight so i basically i'm folding over the top one i'm folding over the no, not that one folding over the sides and folding over the bottom then with this one here you want to then fold that one over in the middle do the sides Sorry, it takes a little bit of time. You just need to manipulate it and work with it, but it works there. And that's kind of created your a little bit of a tab there for you. What we're going to do now is we want to then just fold these ones over, and then we want to then fold these ones over in half. We're going to manually do this. And the same for the other side. And then you want to then cut those pieces away. But save them. Okay, we need to use that part later on. Okay. And this is the one where you may just want to just take a little extra off of the bottom. And take a little off the top here. 
like that. Okay, so that's what you are left with. What you want to do now is you want to then fold these ones over and then stick these to the inside. Okay, and just by taking those little extras out, it's just made sure it doesn't interfere with any of the score lines on here. So it's just a matter of just making sure everything fits quite nicely. Um, so that there is your mechanism. So that's round like so. And that there is then ready to then get stuck into the card. So what you want to do first before you stick it into the card is then decide if you want to decorate the inside. So which I am. So before I do that, I'm going to then just pop my two pieces of designer series paper in like so. Okay, so that's that part done. And then what you want to do is we then want to then stick this part tab, this tab here to the inside of the card. So you need to pop some glue on here, you need to then find the middle and then stick it down like that. So it's just some glue on that part, fold it up so it's all nice and tidy, find the middle of your card, line it up against the score line, and then stick down and hold down. This part's important, you want to make sure that this part is stuck before you start pulling things, otherwise it will just come off, so just be patient with this part and just allow the glue to do its job. With this part which we cut away earlier on when we folded pieces over, you basically want to fold this one in half again. And then cut away. So you'll have one piece which has got no score lines in it and then you'll have one piece which has got a score line going down the middle. Cut away. Cut that one in half so you end up with one long piece and one small piece. This is going to be another little mechanism for the inside. Okay. Whilst we've got this here now, we want to then grab this one right here, the circle which we've done. So our biggest circle where we've cut the circle out on the inside. I'm going to feed it through this and we're going to basically pop some glue on this first little wing right here. So a little bit of glue on that first wing. Take this circle and stick that down so that, that wing is kind of centrally in there. So that, that wing then adheres that circle like that. Okay. So you can see as we start pulling. That there is then going to start moving, okay, like that. Then with the second piece which she had, so which is the smallest one, which was from the inside of this one, we then want to then stick this to the other wing, to this one at the back here, so that it's roughly in the in the closed position. And that's where it goes, so it's not interfering with the fold the, the fold of the card. Or not going to be poking over the top. So again, you can pop a little bit of glue on that wing and then push it flat and then stick that down. So then, as you then move, that all slides around. Okay. Just be careful where you're popping your glue that it doesn't come out. You can see on there, I haven't got it completely covering that whole wing. So if you've gone too far down, it's then going to end up sticking to this. So just be aware of that one. If you do, just a little bit of an embossing buddy on there will help you do some, some kind of powder just to help take away any of the attack. Once you've done that, you can then go ahead, pop some glue on this end piece right here. 
fold the card over and hold this part in place. This part you need to just now make sure that this sticks. So just wait for a couple of minutes, pop a bit of pressure on that one there for this one to stick down. And there we have it, that there, as we open that up and that's all stuck, everything moves nicely. Okay, we will just go with one last thing. We want this piece right here, that bit, that mechanism which you've done, you want to pop a little bit of glue on on that part of that mechanism, okay, and then stick this in like so. So a little bit of glue you can see has just gone on that bit there. Take this piece stick and hold. Okay. Again, make sure that, that part there is stuck before you start um attaching anything else to it. Now's the time to go and make yourself a cup of coffee and just let everything dry up. So that there is the mechanism part. What I'm going to show you now in part two is how I then decorated this card like so using the lovely Hearts and Hugs stamp set, which is a new one from the annual catalogue coming out in May. There we go. Excellent. So hope you have found that useful with how to create that. We will see you again in a moment for part two. Link to part two can be found down below in the description. See you soon. Bye-bye.